All right. Anyways, um, I thought Sonic Rush was a game that you could... Oh, whoa, whoa! The game's playing now all of a sudden. What the fuck? Oh, no. I, I just restarted. Yeah, that was Twitch. That was okay. Twitch's problem, definitely. Yeah, pr- 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 like, I was on the following menu, and it wasn't even showing by the game was on it. Dang! Actually, Mr. Gamefy, you got a 200 base of five. Excuse me? Hey. Oh, what Pardon. now? <laughs> Anyways, uh, Sonic Rush I thought was a great game. It was, it was like, crazy. Mm-hmm. That's how I will describe it. It was always moving, always... Yeah. That boss fight with Blaze that was so darn difficult, especially that last big Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's annoying. I don't remember if I ever really beat the game. I, I must have, but I don't remember doing it. Speaking of which, using... Stylus to do the special stage and the special stage. Oh my gosh, no. No, thank you. I'm surprised I even beat those. Talking about at the moment. You know, the special stages. Uh, Sonic goes through them, you go through this half pipe area, collect a bunch of rings, use the stylus to move them around. Uh, no recollection. She's still ever a bit. Uh, well, it's, it is kind of hard to figure out how to even get into those. Really? Oh, I never try to do anything extra. I think the last part I remember vividly is Blaze beating the shit out of Knuckles or something like that. Wow. That's that's kind of late in Blaze's story. <laughs> Dude, you should... No, that was a Sonic story. He came across Knuckles. Like, oh, oh wow. Well, so then you didn't actually see Blaze beat him. I, I played I would have loved to have seen that. I would have loved to have seen the had yeah. a boss fight with Blaze where she fights Knuckles. Unfortunately, we just get to see a bunch of flashes and a bunch of text and stuff. I would have liked to have seen a boss fight between Blaze and Knuckles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Knuckles throws a giant fucking boulder at her, and yeah, the smash and baby trying to like push it <laughs> back at him. That would have been cool. Yeah. Sonic Riders was a little bit too ambitious, though. And hey, speaking of which, nice little interesting fact, Dance, the same guys who made Sonic Rush, made Sonic 4 and Sonic Advance. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. I don't know if that, that Sonic uh, Riders was a bit too ambitious with the story and the gameplay. And I don't know. It depends on which one. Sonic Riders Joe Gravity should take the piss near the end. The storyline? Yeah, the story and Joe Gravity. I think it's ridiculous towards the end as well with the Babylonian shit. And, like, oh, Sonic play my game. Oh, I don't know. Were aliens? Like, I, I like the uh, first one, but I don't know. The, the other ones, meh. I never really got him. What was that about re- in reality being aliens? Yeah, it basically, I don't get how they, they they went from being genius to aliens, but... Fucking no, no, no! 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 Team and has jet seen multiple times and never came across anything like aliens. Well, no, that's in zero gravity. In the first one, they're genies. Found out that they're genies. In zero gravity. Sonic Riders, the first game. They were they were never genies or aliens in Sonic Riders. Yeah, they were. They were genies in Sonic Riders. Dude, they said, at the end of the game. They said that the bird people descended from genies in the Babylonian era. And then, in Zero Gravity, they said that, that the Babylonians were actually aliens. Yes. Well, I didn't know there was anything called Zero Gravity. I also missed the genie part. I knew they were, like, of Babylonian descent, but I didn't realize that that meant genies. Yeah, yeah, it you does. Know, it the aliens, but aliens. Yeah, aliens were introduced in the second game. Zero gravity. I'm happy, I'm happy that in Free Riders they kind of abandoned that whole story and just wanted to, you know, oh, it's a race. Whoever wins gets, you know... How many sequels to Sonic Riders went there? Two. Zero gravity and Free Riders. Yeah. Zero gravity is the second one, Free Riders is the third, and then Sonic Riders is Sonic Riders, the first one. And speaking of, like, in conjunction with Sonic Free Riders, he can die in a fire, for all I care. For that here. What did he oh, say? Controller, he says, oh, controls are too difficult. You have to learn them. Not every game is going to hold your hand. Yeah, pretty much. Who are you talking about now? Angry Joe? I... I have no idea. 
part of the that guy with the glasses website? I know the website. I I'm mostly uh, I've heard of the nostalgia critic on there. Yeah, he ended by the way. The nostalgia critic uh, closed, right? Er, yeah, um, yeah. But, uh, yep. Well, you said nostalgia critic should make appearances here and there, but he's not going to be you know me weekly. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. With no disrespect to Jay Rolf, you know, the guy who does the, you know... Yeah, angry video game there. Mm-hmm. No hatred towards him, but he really has to, to hang it up. Yeah, he is. He's planning on doing that as soon as he finishes his movie. Yeah, um... Oh, man. Did you hear about the uh, fucking scam sort of thing he's doing? No. Jay Rolf. Oh, the... About cheating into trying to get the game finished or whatever. Yeah, that isn't true at all. And in the comments, Mike Mante had already apologized to one of the fans, like, or er, said something that, like, showed that it was actually fake, and then James still made another video about it, saying that they need more donations. That's something that, I mean, but that's something that I always hear about. I mean, James is probably a nice guy, but. He needs to understand that sometimes you can't lie to your fan base. Yeah. You can't lie to your fan base, and you can't insult your fan base. Look what happened to Spoonie. What happened to Spoonie? <laughs> I don't know what... The Spoonie, what happened to him? Well, that guy with the glass had to let him go because he said some things to one of the female members of the site. Mm-hmm. And essentially the fans were going... Nobody knew about this for a while. Spoon started to attack his fans. Like, oh, you guys, like, oh, you guys are the reason I can't go for that guy with glasses and this and that stuff like that. Is he back on? Because I know he appeared in the movie. It, that was the last time he was there. Oh, really? It happened recently that they, it, it happened recently that they let him go. Wow, I didn't know that. I mean, I... I yeah. And uh, I always said that, but why... No disrespect to the fans, oh, they got the glasses, there's some fanboys who are overly annoying, but to insult the people who made you famous, because Tony was nothing before to that guy with the glasses, Angry Joe was nothing without, every person on there was nothing before that guy with the glasses. And I thought that that was the glasses, was just Doug Walker's website. It yeah. was, it was originally, it had a mask that Asked that guy with the glasses, three more views, and then sold the credit. But then, you know, that he wanted to get to new people, and he did. He had Angry Joe, he had, um, Linkara. you know, yeah, Linkara. That guy called the one who talks all dramatic or whatever, like, he's, that he did the, the Leprechaun review with credit. He also had, uh, Cinema Stop. Yes, I was thinking of Cinema Stop. I mean, it, um, don't remember. Oh, well, there's Obscurus Lupa. That's it, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, the soldier, or, or not the soldier, that guy was a lot of people. Mm -hmm. and, and again, they were nothing before Soldier Critic. You know, nobody knew who Angry Joe was. No one knew who, you know, Cinema Snuff was. No one knew who the car was. It wasn't until they went there that they got famous. That, that they really became, you know, they were the guys that to... They were the guys on that guy with the glasses. Exactly. And Spoonie, I, 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 I'm all right with him being, you know, angry. Some fans that are some fanboys. But you should, firstly, you should never say things to... I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, list them in as, you know, the whole Princess Peach character that we, that some people do in real life. I can't. Because there are a lot of women who aren't like that. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the things he said, I mean, that I've heard, about, I've heard speculation from a couple things that he said, and it, they want in good taste. Let's, let's put that one. Yeah. So, how about them Sonics? Yeah, I know. I'm playing Sonic 2, and I'm like halfway through the game now. I'm real sorry that I started this conversation in any way, shape, or form. It's 
right. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it helps get a couple of back out of the glass of people and, and, you know, walk and have a problem. Mm-hmm. But I have a problem with certain people from the side, you know, some people from the side are, you know, assholes. Ah. Uh. I mean, I'm not going to say every person is an asshole. I never have a, I never will. I mean, there are probably people who are from the side that are really not, you know? Mm hmm. Probably. Oh, hell about them Sonics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, so Firefox just excluded. I've ever been this better. That's funny, because I'm using the dance back. Yeah. I'm, this part of the level is pretty tough, because there's this lava coming up after you. And also, you have to climb up this shaft up here to get away from it. Lava hurts. I didn't understand what you just said, so I doubt anyone else did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we have lifts. Lifts are very fun, although they're mostly just waiting around and waiting it for to get to the end, but you know, it still looks cool. Now if they shot some stuff at you while you were riding the lifts, that would have been really cool. I mean that would have been tough, that would have been interesting. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> It's in a zone! Fall right in the sights. Now this boss is really hard to fight his tails, because tails will hit Robotnik and give him his invincibility frames, making you fall into the lava underneath him. Fortunately, as tails alone, um, that doesn't happen. You can just jump on him constantly. So, Mr. Robotnik has all these machines. He has, like... More things you can fit in your lower jaw, and, and he's <laughs> 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 one by one by one by one, just wash. Well, I think it's because he's the only one that doesn't even know that he controls. I don't know. And the robot on mindless, you know, handless, thankless thing. But anyone know how to buy the max or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have no idea. And being in which, I understand why people like to mention to I love myself, but why is it such a popular game? I never really got why. And I know, you know, I'm just the one that was the prequel to Sonic the Hedgehog, right? No, 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 Sonic Hero. Well, like, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, not sure i off of that game, right? No, no, Shadow came after Heroes, I believe. Yeah, Shadow came after Heroes. And Heroes came after Adventure 2, and Adventure 2 came before Adventure. I mean, after. After Adventure. After Heroes? Hold on. What is that Shadow takes place, like, five, six months after? I thought it was right after Adventure 2. Nah, Heroes has to come before Shadow the Hedgehog. Well, like, it was in the event at the end of... Uh, the Sonic Adventure 2 that made him lose his memory, and he fell off the Earth or something. Oh, yeah. He, he fell off the Earth. Off the Earth and missed the portal thing, and wasn't that in Sonic Adventure 2? Yeah. Sonic Adventure 2 is where he fell off of the Ark and lost his memory, effectively. And then uh, he was found by Robotnik later on and was put in a capsule found in Sonic Heroes. Can we just call him a man to the American... Nah, I like common Robotnik. Robotnik is cool, but yeah. Is it okay if I call him Eggman? Is it okay if I call him Eggman without somebody in chat? I don't care if you call him Eggman, I just, I just want to call him Robotnik. That joke sucks. I'm sorry. Seriously, I'm not getting that sucked. Can you do a shut up voice, right? Okay, I'm not cool anymore. Billy Madison, but I'm Sammer. I doubt and you know that. No. Hey, Sonic. Sonic! I'm playing a Sonic game right now. Yeah, Sonic 2. Yes. Mario, <laughs> Which, in my opinion, with respect, I like Sonic 2, but... Mm, yeah. Really, not really fully my cup of tea, it's not really, not really in a 3 of tea, so... 
Yeah, it's not my cost of whatever bad reserves that I drew. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think about another Sonic game aside from just... Yeah, just Shadow, Fighters, and Rock. You should get Sonic Mega Collection. Am I the only one... I know I'm probably getting a lot of hate for this. Am I the only one who finds the Sonic... The Sonic Sonic is the only game. Video games are actually a lot of them. Eh, you know, I like the I kind of like the first one, but I don't know, just not enough goodness to provide more. Really, I'd rather just have a regular platformer crossover between the two. Don't get me wrong, I, I'd like to see a crossover, but I'm all right with seeing you know a, a, a game that has the two. Of them. Yeah. But that's the thing I've always hated. Everybody's gonna go, oh, it's gotta be a platform. It's gotta be a platform. Like, no. I mean, look at Brawl. Well, I mean, I think it's mostly just specifically, it's Mario and Sonic. They're both platform characters, so it would be logical to have them in a platformer crossover. Well, you want to have a fighting game with characters who are platformers. Well, yeah, but that's because you have characters from a whole bunch of genres. No, it's... It is a platformer, technically, because yeah. the, the store is the most platformer. It's saying, I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but then again, I'm not a very sensitive person. Yeah, to me, saying that they want a Sonic and Mario platformer makes sense, since the both both of the characters are platformers. I'll be right back. I'm going to uh, put my computer stick and then right back so that I can get a little bit less lag in the chat. All right. Now, here's the thing. These platforms that come off of these things down here that I'm riding on, these things are incredibly glitchy. If you try to jump on while it's going up, you basically phase through it. I happen, That happened several times in my Let's Play of Sonic 2. Can I mention that I hate oil work oh, I kind of like it. At least I like the aesthetic of it. That sunset in the background and stuff. It looks pretty cool. I don't have, I don't have a problem with the aesthetic, but the level design itself. Yeah, it is pretty annoying, especially some of these enemies. If I, if I may put on Hellfire Comms, they did a play this 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 level can just kind of ditch, but it's called the Blunt Edge, which will do it just deep. Uh huh. You <laughs> should sit there. <laughs> yep. Basically, later on after the stream, I can give you a link to the site and you play through if you want to see it. Alright, cool. Is that the same as I found? Mm-hmm. And it, yes, you can touch me, right? And this. Yes. Yes. I don't know. You that boy. Oh. Somebody's trying to call me now, but I don't know why. I'll add. All right. Is so everybody good? Oh, hang on, NF, that's the call as well. I can hear you. You're kind of staticky, though. Yeah, it's just full of them, but we just try to pull back, so I just don't go on. Yeah. Is she there? That was very, very confusing, what just happened. Yeah. That might have been my internet, I think. My internet's been very, 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 So fun as well in this game. Like, how fun is the game really? What? <laughs> how many levels is Oil Ocean Zone in this game? How many zones are there? Um, let's see here. The next zone is going to be Metropolis Zone. And then after that, uh, that's going to ba basically be the end game after that. With uh, Sky Chase Zone. Um, what was it called? Um, the, oh, the Fortress, the Midair Fortress Zone. And then the Death Egg. Flying. Fortress. Yeah. So pretty much, um, we're we're very close to the end of the game here. Okay. Metropolis is the only one that has three acts. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's the one with. Well, I think it's the Metropolis. If that's it, that's because they have three and okay. Metropolis Zone is big, confusing, and has three acts. <laughs> I 
I know, right? Why does that have to be after the other? I don't know, it's just, it's, it's too big. That is why. Is it Silver Sonic? It's a lot of machinery. Silver Sonic is in this game. Like the ball here, right? a lot of yeah. Really, the final boss in this game, the Death Egg Robo, I consider it the hardest thing in Sonic ever. Well, that, well that's because if you die, you can get any rings back. Yeah. You don't get any, any rings ever. <laughs> hey, uh, uh. <laughs> I still prefer the one that told me here to us to say, yeah. Yeah. Darn it! That's a spring one from Sonic CD. Sonic CD. I thought Sonic CD had the Sega. Nope, they had Sega! No, wait. No, Sonic CD was the thing you like the Sega 2, but as the. Not the one that's on Son on a Sonic Mega Collection. Uh, there are two versions of Sonic 3D, you know. Oh, I thought you said Sonic CD. Oh, no, no, 3D. Sonic 3D Blast. Uh, I'm stupid. Well, don't pull out. Oh. No, this is not a Tails-specific stage. There are no Tails-specific okay. stages. Again. I've never gotten no, this one. You can play as any character you want. There actually is no difference between Sonic and Tails in this game, other than the fact that Tails can't get Super Sonic. Oh, really? Wow. Tails can't fly in this game. Now, this boss is ridiculously easy. Watch. Watch. Okay, so I hit him down here, and I just stay jumping over here, and nothing can hit me. That's why to avoid them. You pretty much know every secret of the game. Almost. <laughs> Much oh no, this isn't Sonic 3 and Knuckles, this is Sonic 2, guys. I, I switched up games, yeah. I should probably change that hang on. Yeah, that, that would be a good idea. Sonic CD? Sonic 2. Sonic 2? Uh, it, it only has one water level. Aquatic Ruin Zone. Well, I'm thinking in terms of liquid-based levels. Chemical hmm. plant, oil, ocean... Ah, maybe. Although Sonic, uh, Sonic 3 had a lot of water sections. Practically every level had one. Well, I mean, like, a le like, I mean, a whole level that around it. There were some levels that didn't have them going underwater. Like, there were some, like, they weren't going to test these. Like, Angel Island Zone, you could just basically avoid the water the whole time. Mm -hmm. Hydros... Hydroxy don't... I mean, I mean, like, an all water level, or an all oil or liquid base level. Well, then in that case, Sonic 2 doesn't have any. Because, well, I mean, technically it's possible, it's impossible to go to avoid the water and chemical plant zone, but it's such a minor part of the level that it almost, that it doesn't really count. Aquatic Ruin Zone, it's entirely possible to go through that level without ever touching any water. And, um... As for Oil Ocean Zone, yeah, you can go into through the level without touching the oil. I just didn't do that. See, was <laughs> that that ladder bit in chemical plant when you act two? Mm -hmm. You know, when you're just trying to climb up those rotating blocks or whatever and yeah. push them up. I think that can burn. Yeah. Kidding, that, le that level can burn. I know, I know. It, it took me forever to get through there as a kid. I am not kidding. I had about 20 games of jump in that one level. Mm-hmm. I know. Because of that, because of that one stupid thing. I feel you, man. I feel you. Not literally, though. My brain is not in a good enough condition to have reactions. 
a good enough reaction time. Yeah, that's what I mean to say. My, having my brain doesn't help. Well then, why are you co-commenting if you have a migraine, dude? I mean, it's a terrible time of my brain. I have to get checked out, but... Well, I, I, it's not like my head hurts, it's just I get, like, moderately dizzy. Ah. Uh. And I'll be right back. Alright. Now maybe I'll be able to talk about something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so folks, this is Metropolis Zone. Very difficult area. You see uh, these screws. They have starfish on them often. Whenever you're playing as Sonic and Tails, the starfish will home in on you while you're riding the screws. And whenever they explode, it will be very difficult to avoid them effectively. This screwed me up a lot as a kid. These platforms with the spikes coming out, they rotate, like... Uh, clockwise. As such, well, you want to make sure to time them effectively. Now then, we see a very cool background back there with nice crushers, uh, some sort of energy gauge back there, and lots of other cool stuff that I don't even know. This part is incredibly annoying. Try not to get stuck here because it's an infinite loop. Those rotating spot things are giving me unpleasant flashbacks to Mega Man 4. Ah, yes. Mega Man 4. Wait, why unpleasant? Mega Man 4 wasn't that tough. Which stage well, are you thinking of? I feel like that, and Megan before that killed me about 3,000 billion fucking times. Mm. Actually, it's just that the platforms were farther apart, and they did they had two spikes out of them at once instead of one. Which stage are you talking about? What, um, what are Dr. Cossack's stages? Ah. Uh. Really, Mega Man 4 is one of my favorite Mega Man games. Like, probably my second favorite, after 10. I thought 10 was great. Ah, well, there, there are a lot of X games. I am not watching the X series. Well, I mean, the first X game. Yeah. I've played all the classic series in the first two X games. Personally, I prefer the classic series. I've beaten uh, the first X game and never played another one because uh, I just like them. Yeah. I feel like there's so many seats to be able to play the game to the full potential. Mm-hmm. Mega Man X can indeed have zero, but there are other series that have zero in them. Some series have zero as the main character. Well, what, what was the one that had zero as the main character? Uh, that, that was an entire series. I think, I don't know because I've never played them, but I think ZX might have. There's Mega Man Zero and Mega Man ZX. There are two series for Zero. I, I the one I had Zero was the main character. Mm-hmm. Fuck, game over. I'm green. No. Wait, <laughs> dude, dude, no, no disrespect. How do you game over on green? You know? Yeah, I I'm. I was trying to attack the Eggman, and then I always end up hitting him once, and falling on the fucking ball. He swings back and forth. You should have an invincibility. Right. Yeah. The, the, wait, wait, what? Invincibility? What's she talking about, Nebra? There's, there's invincibility in the tree right before the battle. Oh, shit. I'd probably have been using it then. Not to that, but invincibility for There will be a time to flash and your base is invincible for Oh, yeah, that part too. There is that. I use that time to call the couple of points that I can back from my dead body. Right. Not that body, but injured body. Well, that was annoying. I just buzzed. You buzzed! Phone, why are you buzzing at me? Oh, I'm a video thing. Oh, wow, they're not coins, they're rings. I, yes, I just said that ring. Yeah, but he didn't listen. I hate this enemy. Go away. There we go. I think the second enemy we saw in that one, whichever one was guys who yeah, those guys too, and I think I'm about dead. No, oh, I survived. I survived. And I got checkpoints, so yay. Well, guys, after I beat Sonic 2, I think I'll be done here for the day. I just wanted to make sure that this thing will actually work for whenever I need to do it next Monday. And I'll let you know that I'll be doing significantly less Sonic next Monday. It'll be Kirby instead. 
I don't know what to play because I have an eight hour time slot on Saturday and what I have is a computer that seems to lag like a motherfucker every time I run exploit. So in this case the only games that I can make me play moderately well because of how much it makes my computer lag. Mm-hmm. I see. So I'm going to be going on stream by NES games, I guess, which is okay because I love NES games. But. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot for the NES. Okay. Oh, it's weird, because I was always more of a Genesis kid. I mean, I know a lot of kids when I was younger had NES, but I was more of a Genesis kid. Well, I had to be Genesis because my parents never bought a game system. I was just given one. Well, it was like two years ago. Mm-hmm. I don't know, it's, it was just a feeling of the Genesis that I liked a lot more over the NES. I don't play many Genesis games. There are some ones that I like, like Shinobi 3, Game Ground, uh, uh, Dog Games are good, obviously. Oh, um, some games are good. By the way, guys, we're on Act 3 now. My friend showed me uh, Game Ground, which uh, I don't know if it was popular or not. But and actually, do you guys want to know what Sonic's first video game appearance for that? What? Yeah, we'll put it a Sonic the Hedgehog was in some other animal-based game or something like that. That's actually wrong. He was an air freshener in in a second version of a racing game. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. I remember, it was, yeah. Um, I heard that somewhere and I just completely forgot what it was. I'm getting through the first two acts fine, then it comes along and I don't know what invincible they want. Is there a three near the ending that you have to yeah. jump it to? Yep. All right. Wow, yeah. I hit the very, very first spike on <laughs> act three. Dang. Yeah. Like, I'll jump oh. over the bounce. Goodbye, Evil Dad. <laughs> Well, I'm going to say another little interesting fact for those that don't know. Originally, Sonic was supposed to have ten. And what was it? It had a heat. Well, I mean, did you watch the five acts video? Uh, uh, yeah. And I watched mm -hmm. it. And I, yeah. I actually. They have things and claws or something like that. Yeah, we, we supposed to have ten either man and a human girlfriend. I think it's on like a six. It's hell. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, but put the Eggman kidnaps her and Sonic goes, it, it's kind of like you know, the Mario scenario. Okay. Yeah. But it's, it's, uh, who was it? Was it Eating Naka who basically said no? Like, this would, this one would No? Be. No, that killed me. The game came in with Hey guys, guess what? It was my first death of the game. What? What? You're almost at the end of the game. It's your first death? Yeah. Yeah, I know. There's no way you're gonna see that the first time. It's impossible. I bet that's why. I bet you should pay for Trump Plus. It makes no sense. How does, like, Pan is the thing where he spins his tail and he goes forward. How does that spin fucking screw? It is Sonic logic, everybody. Doing things Kirby style. Don't forget Collision Chaos. <laughs> the only thing I remember from Sonic to do is American uh <laughs> Really, I liked both soundtracks for uh, Sonic C D. Die. Well, that was an interesting way to get past that guy. 
Uh, well, um, I'm, on a, I'm at the boss now. So, guys, a little bit of thing about this boss. It's basically impossible to get to get past it without getting hit once, as you can see there. That's true. Pretty much. I think I've done it once, but um. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, the shield of guys around him completely surrounds him at first. So what? You just go left to right? Nope. That's hey, man, I'm about to tell on I'm you. About to. I really hate bosses that, you know, require you to get the hit. I always hate that. Yep. What, the, what, there, was a, there was a boss in Mega Man 5 that was all like that, where it had the thing going on, but it was too deep, so you couldn't really tell when you were supposed to hit him at the time. And speaking of Bioware, with their Sonic, with Sonic, Knuckles, the RPG game, mm -hmm. that game sucked, by the way. Yeah, I did. Sonic? Did I just hear that? It was called Sonic Chronicles Dark Brotherhood, and it was an RPG game. Well, when I think Sonic, I don't think of term based RPG, I think of running about 5,000 miles an hour who just did a line of cocaine. Well, it's funny, it's not, <laughs> okay? Well, technically, it's funny that you say that because it's not actually turn based. It's kind of like. It's not a turn based RPG, but the way you go, is he run around? Like, does he just level up and stuff? Um, no, the turn. Well, the, I, I define turn based as like one character, but this game, like, if you attack, like, you like you pick all your uh, attacks or whatever for your characters, and your opponent does the Basically, you pick everybody's attacks, and then they all do them, after all the attacks have been picked. Rather than picking an attack, and then the character doing it immediately. Which is kind of interesting. It also has a bit of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga-style stuff, with um, timed hits for their special moves, and combination moves as well. I'm just going to say, I think should stick to the routine Yeah. Okay, idea. I like the way he's... Oh, the By the way, and it makes sense to why Sonic runs as fast as he does for as long as he does, other than drugs. I don't know. I think you should say Red Bull. Red Bull. I don't love the canon based uh, reason for that. Using that to modify it or something like that. Um, I think that at one point the story was that his shoes gave him super speed, but after. After the first game, they basically changed it to, oh yeah, he's just naturally really fast. I really like the Archie comics, by the way. I still get them. They're pretty good. Yeah, sure. Um... You guys know, well, you guys know what ro Robotnik's called backward is? Kinto Boar, yeah. Yeah, O.B. Kinto Boar, who is now I have Robotnik, um, basically, he was a good guy at first, and Sonic was a good guy as well. Well, Sonic would run errands for him, and he was already naturally fast, but he was a brown hedgehog with multiple stuff. Well, are we getting into some conspiracy about names, big things spelled backwards, and good guys turning into bad guys, and... No, this is what was shown in the Archie comics. Actually, it's not the Archie comics, it's another comic series for Sonic. Oh, an Archie okay. comic. No, okay. Sonic the comic. Yeah, Sonic the comic. It's a okay. British series, I believe. Well, essentially what happens is, Sonic, um, basically, well, basically, um, Pentabore says, oh, Sonic, I have your shoes. Sonic breaks the sound barrier with his shoes and thus, um, you know, turns him blue and, uh, you know, molds his twills together like he does now. But the explosion from the breaking sound barrier, which destroyed the machine, also converted Ivo Kinabort into Ivo Robotic. Mm hmm. Yeah, basically. And the threat at our center. Alright, it's actually funny, Sonic is just online, Eggman is basically insane. 
Mm hmm. Well, he should be saying. We know that. Yes. <laughs> like, like, I mean, he is literally obsessed trying to kill Sonic. He's insane. the comic in general just seems to be kind of odd. But I'm not going to say the good thing. a bad game can do anything. I know. Story. Crap. Let's do a crappy story. Okay, guys, it's boss time. Remember that thing from Sonic and Knuckles? It's this again, except it's the first time, technically. Um, I don't know what's going on. Well, you see, there's this big laser up here. Sonic and Knuckles, or Sonic and Knuckles. It's similar, not like this. Yeah, it's it's the giant laser beam with these other laser beams yeah, blocking yeah, my yeah, way. Yeah, Except this time, instead of just sort of letting the laser destroy itself, we actually have to destroy the laser. We have to actually fight the boss, guys. It's horrible. Why would they do this? That's why. That's why Sonic and Knuckles decided. You know what? Let's just let the laser kill itself. Mhm. Mm what's going on? What's the really hard part about this boss battle is the platforms because the spikes on the bottom still hurt you. Yeah, yeah, that was the uh, the crystal level. Quartz yeah, quartz. yeah, quartz quad. I didn't know there was a life there. I didn't know there was a life there. Yep, there is a life another, there. Another level with another match in the same pattern. So anyway, guys, so you know we've had like one death so far in the entire series. Well, just just get ready to, for, to watch me die a whole lot, okay, guys? Because, um, you know, we've had one death so far. But now, I really suck at the Death Egg Robo. So if you guys wanted to see me fail... Oh, oh yeah, I know how to beat him. I just get impatient. Let, let me ask this, okay? Mm -hmm. Sonic's supposed to be the main hero of this game, right? Yes. Why is Tails the main hero? Because I am God in this situation, and I say that he is hero. Is God? So you're playing the Sims? Yes. <laughs> and there he is. Also, by the way, Silver Sonic is already beaten. You're annoying me, dude. It takes me for that. He's all in the brain. How is that even possible? I mean, 18 seconds. Yes. Yeah. You're a jerk. <laughs> well, this boss is gonna get revenge on me. Okay. Seriously, the metal Sonic or Silver Sonic take me like a minute and I can't keep up with them. Oh, oh yeah, you can hit him like that. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. You could hit him there. Uh, I'm gonna wait for that. And so I, I, I can't remember. Does this boss shoot a shockwave? Like no, he doesn't shoot a shockwave. He does shoot his hands, though. I know he throws his arms. Yes. Something which the Sonic Generations version doesn't do. Where are all your rings go? Where are your rings? I'll tell you where are the rings. They're in space. Space. I know. I know that. Uh, you guys don't like that, right? Your wife took that. your rings when she left. That was wrong. You know, you know something, Jeff? Yeah, I know. If you do eat if the rings appear in this level, I'm not even kidding. Wow. That completely ruins the level. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, you know. These emails, all by the way, your rings. Good luck. Seriously? Why? Dude, you're making this boss look almost easy as the one who's on CP. Oh my god. How do you get him to do 10 hits? Uh, 12. 
I think it's nine or nine or ten. It's twelve. Trust me, I counted on my Sonic Generations Let's Play. Yeah, everything settled with your butter. Yeah, thank you, bro. <laughs> I'm always here for you, man. So I think that was my sixth hit on him. I don't know. It was just a thing at the time. And again, why did... Speaking of which, I never understood it. You know what, I'm not even going to bring it up, because that's, that's a completely different game. I'm going to try to... Yeah, I'm sorry, please. Wait, but that... Okay, you die in the most. I saw you build that thing. Quick, go. What? What game do I die the most on? Yeah. Hmm. I think that's for everyone. I don't know. I don't die in a whole lot of games. <laughs> you guys know, you guys know what game I die the most? What? You know, actually, the game that I die the most on is Mega Man 3. Mega Man 3? Yes, I cannot beat Mega Man 3. I can't even beat all the Doc Robot Masters. The Robot Masters fucking flawlessly. I've gone through Gemini League. Oh, I beat him! I beat him! I freaking beat him! I didn't die and I beat him! I, I just beat him, guys. I just beat him, guys. I beat him. I didn't die. What the hamster? Why didn't I die? That was supposed to be the part where I fail repeatedly. I think the game I die in the most is Modern Warfare 3. Do you want to be a little about it? I really can't say what game did I die the most, because I don't remember. Is this not part? No, 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 no. I think it's similar to 64. That's why I got in Kirby a lot. Wait, you die in Kirby a lot? No, I was saying NS probably does. It was a joke. Ah. Uh. <laughs> the only thing I have is Kirby's Return to Greenland. That's the only game I have. So, doesn't Tails die in one of the endings or something? I've 100% squeaked school about 12 times. That game is great. Tails only dies in the ending to Sonic 2 on the Game Gear version. Does it actually, does it actually imply how he died or whatever? No, no, it's just implied. By the way, guys, Sonic 2 for the Game Gear is evil. I can't even get past the first boss. Well, guys, I think I'm going to be done for now. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> So, um, you know, I'll be streaming again next Monday, from 5 to 10. I'm a sad man. So, this has been fun. I've been useless, bye. Okay. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, I'm really, you know. Yeah. It was fun. It was a lot of fun, I really enjoyed it. Make sure, make sure to go to the next free stream today, which is tomorrow. Auto. Yes. And, uh, the stream will start on the... I like it. Please show the thing, Yuri Kaku, Yasu, Tara, Akihiro, Anto, and Yutaka, Sugano, to make it in the top. That's not what you mean. That's what you're saying, you jerk. I was about to say, one of the programmers' names was Bill Willis. I was so Bruce Willis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. 
Jim. Yeah. Justin Mackey, Mac, Mac. <sighs> oh. Did they call it? So I'm a laugh. Oh. <laughs> well, this has been a good time. I really like the medleys that they have at the end of the first two Sonic games. And at Sonic 3 and Knuckles. They do a very good job with that. Well, guys, I've been Mr. Game and Pie. And so, um, you know, see me at some time in the future for another streamy thing. See you later, folks. <laughs>